was different. Up. The, that was different from the time that the time that I was talking about when the guy oh, jumped yeah. on stage yeah. during this guy's set yeah. and he fucking did a WWF fucking wrestling move, wrestling move <laughs> and uh, just slammed them on the stage. Jesus Never seen that. And the craziest part about that was that the fucking comic didn't even try to defend himself. <laughs> Well, he, he, was the he was in the situation. Like, yeah, what's going and he, on? Was, he was like a fucking deer in headlights with a yeah. fucking microphone in his hand. Yeah. Wow. 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 All right. Video. That's you remember talking about tone. You remember Sierra Frost, about. right? You remember Sierra Frost. Here you go, and I can tell who Dan's friends are because it looks like a felony is going to happen. You guys are fucking Dan's friends right there. You a convenience store safe right now, boy. Y'all some scary motherfuckers, Jack. Y'all scary as shit. How you doing, big guy? How you been, brother? All right, you got two women, huh? Hey, there you go. High cholesterol pimp in this motherfucker, huh? There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's the way to get down. I love to see big brothers with women. I love it. And this is girls' night out, right? Oh, you have one dude. You have one dude. One dude. I'm sorry I didn't re recognize you as a man. Please forgive me, sir. Uh, that's okay. That says something about your sensitive soul. Your soul is sensitive. And you just blend in with the ladies. That is so beautiful. And what kind of Chardonnay do you like? Hello. Uh, that's okay, brother. That's all right. And thank you, brother, right there. You have that upper body strength. You can get you a white girl with that, brother. All right, right there. No, don't look around like I'm the crazy motherfucker on the bus. You, you, brother. You, you. Got to be, your woman is fine, though. Your woman is fine. I would choke out a puppy for your woman. She is fucking fine. Gee, oh, Lord. Jesus, you did well. You must have a big dick of cocaine. Hey, give it up for Tony Sparks, everybody. Show him some love, y'all. Very superstitious. Riding on the, that's the shit they play when I cross the border every single time, man. That's not even, this might be illegal. Wow. Sexy, Santa Rosa, Sebastopol, everybody coming together, give it up for yourself. This is a beautiful crowd, y'all like this place. Yes, beautiful women in the crowd, finally. God, you know, I've been dealing with so many swamp donkeys lately. It's just nice to see some good looking women, yeah. Swamp donkeys, go ahead and put that on Twitter. It's okay, I, I approve of that shit, you know. Latino in, in uh, Sebastopol, that's kind of weird, right? According to this crowd, it's very fucking weird. I don't, I see a lot, not at all? No, sir, I'm not talking about the gentleman that cuts your bushes every fucking Saturday. I'm not talking about him, sir. It's good though, man. I, I, like, I like my Latino people, don't get me wrong. You know, here, here's the thing, people always get it mixed up because I'm Mexican, okay? I'm a Mexican, all right? But I know I kind of look like Middle Eastern and shit. I, I know, because the nose, the nose kind of fucks it up, you know? Every time people see me, every time they, they see me, all they think is 9-11, 9-11, 9-11. They get it twisted. You know, from the front, I look like Pancho Villa, but from the side, I look like the Prince of Persia. I understand that shit, you know? Don't think I don't know. I understand that. And you know, since there's so many of my Caucasian brethren in the house, hey, white people give it up for yourselves because white people never give themselves no love. See, even now you're afraid to do this shit. Like, I don't know. So, I don't know if that's right, I don't know. I mean, we've been running shit for 400 years. I don't know if we just keep on giving ourselves love. I don't know. I like white people, though. No, seriously, man. White people need to start having sex with each other again. You guys don't do that shit no more, you know? You keep fucking all the brown people on earth. Start fucking yourselves. We're running out of white people. That's not right. That's not right. You know what I'm saying? White people, you know, start making that good pasty love. Do that shit, you know? They say, they say like in 25 years, there's not gonna be no more white people in America. That's fucked up. That's a scary world to live in, okay? I don't wanna live in that world, you know? No white people. I mean, who am I gonna imitate when I'm trying to get a job? What, what, what am I supposed to act like myself? That's crazy. You know, Coles don't want that. They, they want y'all, you know? Rob Cervantes over here, the Mexican Run DMC with that little ass hat on. Dude, give it up for Rob Cervantes, yo. This man ordered his whole wardrobe today from the Lowrider catalog. I dig that shit, though. I like, what I need. My car bounces. I'm in a magazine. I like that shit, though, man. Not even playing shit with that laptop. You ain't even got no turntables, man. What type of DJ are you? He's like, Ida, Ida, I'm about to scratch. 
I like that shit though, man. But yeah, man, I'm serious though. White people, you know, start making love with each other again, you know? Mexican people, I'm telling you, I love, I'm Mexican. I love Mexican people. Don't get it wrong. I love Mexican people, okay? But I don't trust the motherfuckers, all right? And you shouldn't either. Word to the wise, okay? I know what I'm talking about, all right? Listen, listen. I just got robbed recently at gunpoint, okay? It was fucked up. It was a tragic experience. It was very bad. It was bad, okay? And here's the thing. It was dark, and I, you know, couldn't see the guy's face, and he had a hoodie on and all this shit, but I know he was Mexican. I know he was, okay? Because when he robbed me, you know, uh, he had all his kids with him at the time. You understand what I'm saying? And they gave it away because, you know, they were throwing chiclets at me. It smelled like fabric softener. I know my people. I know when I'm dealing with my own kind, you know? You know, a grown-ass man in a ski mask and then four little baby ski masks just running right behind him talking about, Papi, Papi. Okay, yeah, I know. That's you, but boo, yeah. I'll see you at the flea market. I know exactly who I'm dealing with. Latinos, man, crazy, you know? And you know, being Latino, here's the thing, y'all. Like, I'm Mexican, 30-year-old Mexican. I got no kids. I'm not married. It's like somebody called Guinness Book of World Records. That's got to be a, an accomplishment in itself, right? You know what I'm saying? And I get a lot of shit because of that. That's the crazy part about it. I get, like, I think that's pretty good. You know, I, I haven't fucked up yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I haven't fucked up yet. I think that's pretty good. But, you know, my family doesn't appreciate that shit. You know, my mom especially. Because, you know, being Latino, having babies, that's a big deal in our culture. You know what I'm saying? Like we want to have babies, you know? We're trying to carry the blood on, you know? Somebody got to pass the green card on to somebody. It's, it's got to happen. And I get it from my mom all the time. She'd be like, ay, mijo, mijo, when you're going to have a baby, mijo? I'm getting bored. I'm like, you getting bored? I'm not about to have a fucking baby because you ain't got shit to do. That's not a reason to, you need to get a Facebook account or a Nintendo Wii or some shit. Entertain yourself, you know? You put a lot of pressure on me. That's crazy. And, and besides, you know, I get it from my uncles at the quinceanera slash baptisms that we throw every month, you know? I get it from them too. They be like, hi, Rudy, cabron. When you gonna get married, mijo? You're not getting any younger? I be like, really, Theo? Really? Is that your main concern, that I'm not getting any younger? Because uh, you've been married for like 25 years and you seem to be aging rapidly, you know? <laughs> like at a tragic fucking pace. You understand? Like every time I see you, your head's getting balder, your belly's getting bigger. And honestly, I don't know what's deeper, the bags around your eyes or the desperation inside those motherfuckers, you know? Yeah, that's how I feel about you married people. You ever go to a married man's house? That's why I'm kicking with married people, you know? You ever go to a married man's house, then when it's time to go, he'd be like, where are you going? You've only been here for 14 hours, why are you leaving so fast? Like, bitch, I got a life, you know? I, I got strippers to make it rain on. You know, you said I do, not me, shit. I tried to stop you the night before. I tried to stop you, you know? Crazy. I don't like kicking it with married people because all you motherfuckers want to do is play apples to apples all fucking night. I'm tired of that shit. Fuck apples to apples. Now they got the new edition, Sour Apples. Man, this is crazy. My friends be like, hey, we about to play apples to apples. I be like, bitch, we used to play hookers and coke. Whatever happened to that game? We used to play that shit all the time. We don't ever play that game anymore. I'm getting married, man. It's crazy, man. The best advice I ever got about marriage was from my dad, man. I swear to God, the most gangsterous advice of all time. Gangster ass dude, you know, wears big belt buckles, leather, you know, ostrich leather belts, and fucking boots to match and shit. Most gangsterous advice about marriage. I was like, Dad, man, I met this girl. She's really cool, you know what I'm saying? I think I like her. Like, this might be the one. Like, what do you think about marriage? Like, what should I do? He's like, Mijo, I'm gonna tell you one thing right now, okay? Never say I do. <laughs> I'm like, that, yeah, right? That sounds so fucking difficult. How am I gonna get married and never say I do? That's crazy. I'm like, what did you say when you got married? He said, Mijo, well, I said, um, you know, um, I do my best. Uh, I do what I can. Uh, bitch, please don't make me make no promises. You know I'm weak. I'm not gonna be able to make it, all right? I'm like, good advice, Dad. That's great, you know? Crazy though, man. But you know, despite all the bullshit that I'm talking about, y'all, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Honestly, I actually coach T-ball. I'm a t-ball coach, yes, yeah, yeah. If you wanna ruin your kid's life, bring his ass to me, and I'll fuck him up from the age of five to seven. I'll, I'll do that shit, you know? I coach t-ball, and it's taught me a lot of shit, though. It's taught me a lot of shit, like how to deal with my emotions and how to be honest and shit like that, you know, it's crazy, man. Because the kids come up to me sometimes, man. They, they come up to me and, they, and they, they don't pay attention to what I'm doing. I mean, you ever watch a t-ball game? Oh, God, I swear to God, it's, it's, it's a sad thing to watch. Unless you're a parent, and then you're like, ay, that's my baby, fucking up the game, yes. But I'm telling you, man, the, the, the fucking parents come up there. I don't have no kids, right? But I'm still a t-ball coach because I enjoy doing that shit. I want to teach these kids how to fuck up, you know? So 
the parents come up to me sometimes and they crack me up because they'd be like, Rudy, wow, you don't even have any kids. And you're coaching T-ball? That's incredible. I mean, where do you find the patience? How do you, how do you deal with these kids? I mean, they don't listen to shit you say. They're running around the whole field. One kid's taking his pants off at shortstop. He don't know what the fuck he's doing. I'm like, and yet you still cope with these kids. How do you do it? And I was honest with them. I was like, look, I mean, from the heart, like from, from my heart, from my soul, I'm gonna tell you right now, like when I look into these kids' faces and I see their little smiling faces and they're not paying attention and they, they, they're, they're just fucking up the whole game, I just look at their faces and I find solace in the fact that, hey, you know, these ain't my fucking kids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck these kids, all right? I got them for 45 minutes and then you gotta come pick them up or I will leave them on the curb. I swear to God, I will do that shit. I'm not a babysitter, I'm a volunteer, all right? Get your kids. It's not the, the question is not how I do it. Motherfucker, how do you do it? Because if his baseball skills are any indication that what he's gonna be like in life, he's gonna suck at this shit, okay? He couldn't catch a ground ball to save his fucking life. Know that. So my kid sucks. Yeah, your kid sucks, bitch, all right? I don't, I don't talk like that to the parents, just in my mind. Just in my mind, you know? I don't want to do that to them. It's good, man. I like this crowd, man. This is a beautiful, this is a beautiful place, y'all. I just broke up with my girlfriend. Yes, clap it up for that. Excellent. That's awesome. All right. I'm just trying to make myself feel better. I don't want to go home and just look at a noose and just consider shit like, mm. Maybe tonight's the night, mm. No, actually, she broke up with me. She broke up with me, you know. She broke up with me through a text message, right? That's fucked up, right? You scandalous bitch. Through a fucking text message? This bitch knows I don't have text message on my plan. She knows I'm paying for this shit. I'm getting dumped and I'm coming out of pocket? That's fucked up. She broke over me through a text message. I'm like, bitch, I'm not an earthquake in Haiti. You can't just get rid of me like that. That's fucked up. I got feelings. I'm not like, three million, I'm not like those three million Haitians. I actually have feelings, all right? <laughs> yeah. Fuck the third world, yeah. Now, I don't want to talk shit about the third world. My dad is from the third world. He's from Mexico. That's third world for your ass. I swear to God, people give me a lot of shit all the time. They be like, all right, Rudy, how come when you do comedy, how come you don't be more Mexican? You gotta be more Mexican when you do comedy, Rudy. I'm like, bitch, more Mexican? I'm like, my parents came to this country in the trunk of a Caprice. What you, how Mexican do you want me to get? Do you want me to come to your house and fold all your towels? Do you, do you want me to raise your kids on stage? Like, what the fuck do you want from me? Shit. I swear to God, man. You know, but, but it's, it's a trip though, because like, like Mexicans, Latinos, like we're always talking about the homeland and you know, we're not, we're not happy with the shit we got out here. It's just the beautiful, most beautiful region on the planet and we're not happy with this shit. We're always talking about the homeland and the homeland and shit, right? Man, fuck the homeland. All right, that's America, goddammit. We don't make our own shit, goddammit. It's America. My dad be giving me the craziest shit. He be like, all right, mijo, you don't know what it's like to be home, mijo. You don't know what it's like to be with your own people, where you don't have to learn the language. You don't have to work so hard. You don't have to assimilate. I'm like, damn, dad, you really feel that, don't you? He's like, see, mijo, I miss Fresno, cabrón. I, miss... I want to go back home so bad. I'm like, you can just jump on the five. You can be there in three hours. What the fuck are you talking about? This is not a life decision. You can just get in a car and go. Fucking Latinos, man. Fucking Fresno, 